Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we have this cool amazing bar right here in my hand that's by the brand called Fox Novo. And pretty much what this is, is a wet and dry car vacuum cleaner that is used to vacuum in the car and whatnot. You guys won't be able to use this at home or anywhere else because it has the certain uh, plug on the actual uh, device itself that only works in the car. So first thing first, let me actually open up and show you what comes out of the package first before we test it out and whatnot. So basically when we open the product itself, first thing you guys kind of see inside is the actual product itself right here. So let me actually take out everything out first. So we remove the first box right here. You can see that this is the head that they actually uh, provide you. And for this head, it's the one where it actually has the built-in light. And you have to plug it in through here. And on the bottom side, you can see there's a few brush. So it'll actually suck up the uh, dust and whatnot and actually start cleaning the floor or the car itself. Next thing they provide you is a user guide or user manual uh, to actually explain how to use the product and all the different functionality that's on the product itself. So if you guys take a look right here, there's actually um, four more accessories on here. So they have an extension cord right here, it's in sleeve, so it actually can extend it from the actual product itself. It's an extend onto one of these accessories. So they provide you a little brush head right here, if you guys can see. They provide you this other uh, suction head right here and then they'll probably use this last suction head right here so it actually sucks up a lot of stuff where it's really hard to reach where it's like super tiny you guys can see so let me actually take out the vacuum and show you guys what it looks like so you guys can see this is basically what it looks like so you guys can see right here it has a logo right here the on and off button right here really easy to use push up and down and that's it they have the suction head right here so this is where you actually put in the actual uh, device itself so basically you want to put this first head onto this side like this and you guys can actually put it in like this on here and you guys can start using it like that you guys can see so that's one option another option is to actually remove this part right here and then put on the brush right here and you guys can start using it like that if you guys want to and the last and final option is to actually move this whole entire thing itself and then plug in this part right here all the way in and you guys can start using it like that and then this one actually has the light if you guys use the other uh, couple of accessories the brush and then this small little suction accessory you guys don't have any light only this one has a light so that's pretty cool and obviously here is where you actually will suck in all the dust or whatnot and it's actually really easy to use and remove the product itself so basically all you guys have to do to kind of open this uh, component to throw out any dust and whatnot is to open this little component right here and then opens up that little component right there and you guys can just throw out the trash and whatnot. Another option is that you guys want to open this whole entire uh, part out to throw it out. You just have to push this button down on the bottom right here. And you guys can take out the whole entire thing like that and just dump it out. So you can see right here, they actually have the filter right here. They can actually move like this really simple to remove like that so that's the filter and the filter itself is actually cleanable so you just have to rinse it uh, throughout the product right here and then just let it air dry before using it again next time and then you guys want to remove this part right here like that and you can just throw any of the uh, dust or whatever trash inside the product itself and then once you have it done just put it back in place like this and then put in back the filter as well and then just put it back on the product itself like this and make sure the back part lines up to the part right here because this is where actually it will uh, suck up the dust and whatnot. And once you guys put everything back in place, everything is all ready to use again. So that's pretty cool. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. The only way to find out what actually works and how well it works is to actually test it out. So let's go do that first and then come back and talk more about the product itself. All right, so basically here we have the vacuum as you see it's all pitch dark. So we'll give it a try to test out to see how it performs and also how bright the light is and how loud it actually is when you guys actually use the vacuum. So let's give it a try. I'm not sure you guys can see all that nasty dust on there in the bottom, but once I turn it on, you guys can hear how loud it is and also see how bright it is when you guys actually vacuum and light and whatnot. So let's give it a try. Right. So the suction power is pretty good if you guys use it correctly at a certain angle and everything like you just have to like push really hard to actually angle it correctly and everything to fit the uh, vacuum and everything. So that's where it comes in handy when you guys use the other uh, brush head. So if you guys want to use like the regular brush head or if you guys want to use like that small little hole uh, accessory to actually plug it in, you guys can actually get the little gaps. So you guys can see down there there's a lot of gaps that we didn't uh, vacuum and everything. But you guys can see that the product actually does work if you guys can actually reach it. and it's really 
really cool to have the option of the um, light option on here. I wish they had it on like the actual product where it's built into of a light. So then that way, if you guys even change the brush head itself, you guys still have a light to use to see everything as they're brushing or not. This one doesn't really have the option. It's only for this brush head to you guys use it. So definitely one thing to kind of like consider if you guys want to get this vacuum or any kind of vacuum. All right, so basically if you guys just saw the video of the vacuuming and everything, um, you guys can see the after effect is super, super dusty. There's a lot of dust in here. So basically what you guys want to do now after you guys finish using it, after like maybe a couple of uses and everything, if you guys want to clean it after every use, you guys can as well. So basically I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it and everything. So basically what you guys want to do first is open this little lot right here to remove the um, product itself. So it's gonna be hard for me to do with two hands. So I'm gonna put it down first. So you guys want to pull this latch right here. So you guys now you remove this part right here. Take it out like that. And the next thing you guys want to do is take out each one of the filters out. So that's one part right there. You guys can see there's a lot of dust already. And I didn't vacuum it for that long. You guys can see there's a lot of dust and whatnot. So you guys can either shake it off or you guys can actually rinse it off. Um, this one I probably won't rinse it off yet because it's my first usage and everything. But you guys can see right here there's a lot of dust. So you guys can actually rinse this whole entire part out first. So let's take that off first and then rinse it out. And if you guys want to as well, you guys can also do it another way like this. So just open this little component right here. To open this last part right here. You guys can just rinse it off like that as well. You guys can see there's a lot of dirty water that's coming out. So it's like not hard to clear at all. You guys can actually just rinse it out like water like this. Or you guys can actually get like a little scrubber to kind of like scrub off everything. So I'm probably just going to use my uh, scrubber to kind of scrub everything off and then show us the after effect of what it actually looks like when you guys finish cleaning and whatnot. Alright, so once you guys finish cleaning it, this is basically what it looks like. So it should be all wet and everything. You guys can actually use like a towel or a piece of paper to like um, clean it, wipe it down, make sure it's all dry. Or you guys can actually let it air dry. But once it's finished uh, drying up and everything, then you guys want to put it back onto the vacuum itself and use it next time. Alright, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the test, I probably can see that actually does work and actually works really well. I really like the option of having having the LED lights so I actually can see a lot of stuff when you guys are vacuuming and whatnot. Uh, it's definitely a big issue for a lot of time when I have like other car vacuums where I can't really see a lot of dust, especially at nighttime. In the daytime, I don't have too much of issues, but if you guys are digging into like really dark places and there's no sunlight or light uh, shining to that spot, then it's really nice to have the option of the LED lights so you can see a lot more of where you guys are vacuuming and whatnot. But the, obviously for the brush head and for this accessory right here, you guys won't be able to uh, use a light on there, so that kind of sucks. But at least for this accessory right here is actually uh, reach harder spots where this one can't reach like if you guys go through certain spots you guys can't reach uh, everywhere for this uh, brush head right here and I actually really like this option of the trash holder or the filter because you can dump the trash or dust uh, in the bottom right here or just take out the whole entire part right here and dump the trash or dust and whatnot and then obviously the option of actually being able to clean the filter like uh, rinsing it and washing and letting it air dry and whatnot is really cool so you guys don't have to buy a new filter every single time. So now that we did the unboxing testing, so now that we did the unboxing and testing of the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I have to say that this product is actually really worth it if you guys need one or want one. So for me, honestly, I have to say that this product is actually really worth it if you guys need one or want one of these because it definitely makes a huge difference when you guys are cleaning your car, if your car is dirty or not. So that way you guys don't have to drive to a, a gas station and waste like one or $2 using the vacuum to clean your car. You guys can just use this and clean it and just go to a, a gas station or somewhere where they have a trash can just dump out the trash or dust or whatever you guys vacuum on here. So that's really cool. Cool. and the fact it's so small and convenient and compact is pretty cool um, you guys can actually just put this anywhere if you guys want to just put it back in the car put it at your house when you guys need to use it and reuse it again put it in your garage wherever you guys want to put it that's up to you guys and another thing that makes this product really worth it is the fact that you guys can actually use it for wet or dry so you guys can actually vacuum uh, wet stuff or dry stuff uh, regardless of what you guys are using it for you guys can actually suck up anything but then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else they actually do need but other than that that's pretty much it for the unboxing testing and feedback with the product hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have.